Um, my name is Rudy Wolf, um, and Peak Street Dental has been around for, uh, we're going about four years now, but the original practice was established um, in, the, in the late 70s. Uh, but since then, we've grown quite a bit. Um, and currently, we have uh, about 40 employees. Now, they're not all full time, but we have a number of um, hygienists and uh, I think about 10 assistants at, at, at this point. There are um, six doctors in our, in our practice. Um, so being able to have this um, expanded function dental assistant has been huge uh, value to, to our practice. That's a very busy practice in a, in a very rural area. Um, so more or less my individual production um, because now I'm able to spend more time with patients, treatment planning, presenting cases, I'm not as rushed, you know, so if we're doing a quadrant of dentistry, I'm not racing to get back to pack in fillings and, you know, do all that on my own. I know that my assistant can be taking her time, just making beautiful restorations. In the meantime, I can take my, my time doing those case presentations, treatment planning, crown and bridge, and, and so forth. So from a business standpoint, um, I mean, it, it, if it's done right, I feel like it is, uh, to me, it's like the next thing in dentistry like having dental hygienists, where that then freed the doctor up from doing profies, now the doctor can be doing quite a bit more. Um, and that's and that's how I feel has, has happened here, not to mention my quality of life. Uh, I'm not nearly as stressed out, I'm not as rushed. So besides, you know, producing, like, I would say at least 30% more, um, I'm, I'm like 50% less stressed if I had to put a number on it. Okay, so um, right now I just have the, the, the three, you know, the, the, the two that are finishing up their certifications now. Um, the one that's been doing it for over a year now, and that has just been, it was so phenomenal that the other assistants saw that and they wanted to jump on board too. So we're about to have three, and it's all resin based. We don't, we don't do very many amalgams here, um, but we are experimenting and thinking about um, pursuing even further, uh, you know, things like the crown cementation and, and, and other things that, uh, that we may have to do more. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I mean, you can ask any of them, you know, how, how do you feel about your job now versus before? And it's that sense of empowerment for them, like knowing that, you know, they're, they're, they're so capable of doing this extra thing that they're placing fillings in. And I've met with the parents of some of these assistants and they're like so proud, you know, to have their, their, their daughter, or whatever, you know, working on them. And, you know, they're all decked out in scrubs and they've got their loops on. I mean, they look professional, they act professional, and they are professional. Okay. So what motivated you to to take the, the composites course and, and get certified? I just like working on teeth. I wanted to further my education and my employer was willing to help me. So I enjoy what I do. Now, what has it done for you personally? Um, it makes me look at teeth a lot more differently. Um, bite adjustments and all that stuff I take a lot more seriously. Do you like yes. placing composites I do. now? I like it. I like it. I, do. Like I actually want to take the class to um, seek crowns. Some crowns. If maybe you could talk to my employer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, is there? How has? Was your experience? Did we prepare you well enough? Yes. That when you walked in to, to your first patient. Yes. Though we didn't deal with patients, but that you had the skills. I feel like I did. You, you do. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And it also helped me as a dental assistant like five years prior. Do you tell patients, or it's just part of the practice and? No. And you've you've never had anybody complain about having an assistant do it. As a matter of fact, today someone we finished up. She's like, "Wow, that was efficient." And I saw because we have assistants helping assistants sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, we've never we've never had any any issue, right? I mean, mm -hmm. No. As a front desk person, you've no, you've never, never seen that. I don't even know. Like, yeah. I, I really don't. I don't know when the doctor's done it. Or yeah, there's definitely less of a mind shift than I thought there would be. But people, I guess, are so used to now, our assistants already do a lot, so it wasn't a huge change. And just like with hygienists, you know, you, you kind of, I thought it would be this transition where, wait, the doctor's not cleaning my teeth? What's happening? But in this case, you know, no one's saying, wait, the doctor's not doing my filling? Oh, no. That's not at all. Now, no, has, in this process, has your, has your ego, ego ever gotten a little bruising to see something done as, as well as you and maybe sometimes even better? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, it's been actually really, really surprising for me, like how fast they've gotten. But it makes sense if you know, like Bonnie. That's all she's been doing, like every day, filling, 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 like really no other deviation. So to see these fillings come out, like I mean, virtually perfect, is makes me feel proud, though, you know, because I mean, I, you know, I feel like I had a hand in that, like helping her show some of the ways that I would do things, and to see her improve that is actually makes me kind of proud. Like.